wonderful. You come over here and film me in. You are a very appreciative audience. Well, I think you've been a talented musician since high school. You have a unique style. I'm very impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed with you, too. Mm -hmm. You working for your dad now? Yeah, sort of. Uh, but the Orient Express restaurant is my baby. When was the last time I saw you? <laughs> senior prom? No, it was afterwards. When I kissed you goodnight and you gave me back my senior ring. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever got over that. I thought you were going to marry me. Yeah, I thought so, too. But I bet you're glad I didn't, huh? Oh, no, no way. I like you a lot better than the girl I ended up marrying and oh. divorcing. <laughs> oh, I read about the marriage in the papers, but I didn't know about the divorce. Yeah, I got my final decree about two years ago. Jill's been in Italy ever since. Really? What? What's she doing there? Shopping, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty much all she did anyplace. Uh, I don't want to talk about her. Let's talk about you. You went to Europe, too, right? Yeah. Dad sent me there to get polished and sophistication. I showed him. <laughs> you married? No way. Mm -mm. You going steady? You hung up on anybody? No, I'm just sort of trying to build my career right now, you know. Yeah. Looks like you're doing pretty well at it. So you gonna let me come work for you or what? Oh, well, I think that I'll have to get back to you. There's a few other people I have to see, but I'll call you by tomorrow. That's all right. Here. All right. This is my resume. Look it over. <laughs> nice and folded. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I hate to be rude, but I have a thousand things I have to do. No, no. You have to excuse me. I understand. I'll call you. I'll be standing by the phone. It's wonderful to see you. Likewise. I have a feeling the more we see each other, the more wonderful it's going to get.